my friends, and welcome to Cyberpunk 2077. And specifically, we are at Misty's Esoterica and Chakra Harmonization. a quest that is given to us as we begin to see what we describe as tarot cards throughout the city. We ask Misty what they are for. She suggests that we find the rest of those tarot cards. So far, we found four of the twenty cards. We found the fool, the magician, the sun, and the world. I believe it's supposed to tell a journey. So far we found the Fool, which says, The Fool is everyone, including you and me. Each step he takes on his journey feels like stepping into a brave new world. Ultimately, the journey will change him. But as the card shows, he's a trustworthy lad whose tireless hope drives him toward his goal. Sure does sound like us, huh? A character at the start of a video game ready to take on the world. Next is the magician. The magician is the card of self confidence and adapting to situations through intellect and sheer will. The magician is a schemer who always has one last trick. Some of us. 
us accept where our journey has led us to while others embark on a new challenge. One thing in this world is certain, you can't have it all. So it almost represents the journey from the fool's beginning to the world at the end. Throughout the map, we have multiple tarot cards all around the city. Multiple locations, everything that's marked as a tarot card. We have 16 left to go. Then we can bring it back to Misty and, well, I'm sure something will happen. This is the foot on the hill. Find all the tarot graffiti in the city. That's what quest I'm going to try to do a little bit today. I just love the sound in Misty's showroom. The sound of the singing bowl, the relaxing music, the various calming, almost like wind chimes. in here. But let's find the nearest. Uh, there's a tarot card that's, wow, well, right down the street, a couple down the street. Let's go ahead and make our way there. So I thought we could just have a relaxing jaunt through Night City. Admiring the sights and sound. As we go through the town finding these tarot cards. some sort of night market. Excuse me, people. Hello, mister. Are you scared? Did something frighten you? Some people are scared for some reason.
resembles a major arcana tarot card, the chariot. The chariot. Uh, it's the eighth one. The chariot is always charging ahead, despite being pulled by its steeds in opposite directions. The rider who steers it constantly reigns in the light and dark sides of the soul with the help of reason to ride in the chariot is to experience highs and lows ups and downs steeds pull it in opposite directions huh that sounds like so many people's lives you have things tugging at you from everywhere, but you're always charging ahead. That's time. You have your ups, you have your downs, but you're always moving forward indeed. And you can't change that. That's another tarot card just, just here. Somewhere. See if we can uh, yeah, pull up the quest. Let's track that. Odd oh, graffiti, indeed. Excuse me, everybody. We have Night City to walk through. So yeah, I mean, there is bugs in this game, of course. But, maybe because I'm running it on a PC and not a current, or I guess technically now a last gen console. But, I've been having a, a, a really good time. I have ultra effects and ray tracing on. I mean, just look at those lighting. Wow, that looks amazing. It's one of the most beautiful games I've seen. Even if uh, I can't tell if that person just popped out of nowhere. There is a lot to be desired, sure. Excuse me, cars, I'm making a relaxing video. But, wow, that lighting, wow. It's a beautiful city. Populated. Yeah, there is, I mean, there is some bugs, sure, but I've had, I've had a great time. The story is good. None of the bugs I've experienced are game-breaking, just visual. A little silly thing happens here at a technical glitch, I mean, it's a huge game, but again, I... It, it, my experience might be different than someone playing on a console per se as opposed to a high powered graphics card so I can accept that where is this taking us oh this is taking us to the afterlife bar If I uh, am correct here, wow, all the mega buildings are so huge. Looks like this is down inside the bar. Let's explore in a little bit further. Entering a new area, the afterlife bar. Well, that leads to the bar, but it, I think here is the odd graffiti. Who would have thought? The Empress, huh? Oh, it's the fourth one. The Empress is a card of femininity. 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 That's just a weird word. I'm sorry. Femininity. Motherhood. She is authoritative. No 
knows what she wants and exhibits refinement and sensuousness. The Empress symbolizes creativity and growth and instructs us not to dismiss our unconscious impulses but to trust our intuition. You know what you want deep down. Trust your intuition deep down. You know what you want. So go after it and chase it. Be the strong female protagonist. Doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl, be that strong protagonist. All right, where do we hit next? What's on the map? All right, where's the next card? Should we take the ones? Watson first. Oh, there's a card over here. That's not uh, too far away. There's a card way up there. The Badlands, a couple more around here. Now, should we take this? Maybe hit this one and sort of sneak our way up, maybe. This is going to be a little too long for a walk. I think we need to summon our car. Let's go over here and I'll, I'll grab it. If you've ever played The Witcher 3, it's the same mechanic uh, where the car kind of just comes out of nowhere. Just like your horse always comes flying up from behind you. Roach. Watch out for those gangsters. They want something, but I'm going to steer clear. I got my own things going on. Oh, oh I just love the scale of everything. Flying cars. The advertisements that just go up into the sky. Okay. Excuse me. I actually, let's see. Graffiti. The Emperor, huh? We just 
saw the Empress and the Emperor. The Emperor represents patriarchal control and is pleased with the authority and power he possesses to shape the future. The Emperor makes the rules and enforces them for the common good. But prestige has its dark side. The Emperor is, Emperor is dominating and ruthless and will climb over a mountain of bodies to achieve his aim. Now I didn't even talk about um, the amazing artwork on every single one of these. So the fool looks some guy ready to go on an adventure. He is with the dog. If there's a dog in this game, that'd be awesome. Like the fallouts of the world. The magician, he has a bunch of knives and it looks like he has a wall of faces. What is this Game of Thrones? And that one subplot that was used for like a full season, but then nothing else. The Empress, that looks like a, almost like a Kill Bill reference where she has the katana, the sword, with the body next to her, almost like that scene. Um, with the other Asian girl fighter uh, in the snow, that was really beautiful. The Emperor is sitting on his throne looking back at you, but he's connected to a tangled mess of wires. The chariot looks like a skeleton guy on some rad motorcycle. The sun, another motorcycle, but like a cowboy, more free. In front of the Looks like the moon, but I guess it's the sun. And the world is showing like your brain, your nervous system connected to the city, to the world, as it's become a part of you. That's the way that it looks back at you is just real spooky. Okay, let's... Daytime again. We've been looking for tarot cards all night. Usually, oh yes, it's 3.26 a.m. Wow, it gets bright early. Oh yeah, cinematic view. city, the city where it never sleeps. It's basically Vegas, I guess. <laughs> Sir said this is bright for 3.30 a.m. But we'll just snake through the industrial district here until we can get towards the Badlands. Oh no, I said I don't want to break the rules. We're gonna get stuck behind this slow moving vehiculars. Vehicles. I got places to be. Uh, fine, I'll break the rules. I have broken my promise to you, viewers. Oh, and y'all get me, huh? Well, in the most relaxing ASMR way possible. Up you, up yours too, buddy. <laughs> Ever hear ASMR road rage? Hey, I'm, I'm walking here. I'm walking here. <laughs> hey, get a move on, buddy. I got places to be.
don't need to look both directions. I'm good. Oh, okay. Yeah, that one turned green last second. We still good. We still good. Uh, oh, the waterfront. All these giant cargo ships. I wonder if I can go on top of them. I'll have to do some experimenting later. Hello, officers. Have a nice day. Stop saying this, but it's a beautiful game. Really enjoying the story so far as well. The characters are really good. The story's good. Um, yeah, there's hiccups with like the AI being well, pretty dumb. Not a lot of advanced, uh, you know, crowd mechanics. But I mean, the crowd is. I've never seen a crowd so dense as all the folks walking around Night City. Sure, I've seen a couple of floating things here and there, but uh, all in all, not bad. Okay, so this is one's on, on a water tower. All right, let's see what we need to do here. Well, I suppose we gotta climb this water tower then. Wow, we're now in the middle of the, uh, of the waste here. Wastelands, no bad lands, oil fields, and there's just oil burn off. And the ground is just covered with oil. A silly place. We've got to get to the top of this. Water tower, but it might be an oil tower. Oops, there we go. I was stuck on a ledge. So, is this looks like someone hanging upside down? It is the hang. I'm not in a car. I'll just go to the top of the oil tower because, you know, why not? We got a guitar up here. Ja love. It keeps you smiling. Little guitar. We can see all of the oil fields as they burn. Still hangs. 
things in the sky. Okay, let's go back to the map now. And select the tarot card. I gotta turn this baby around. Don't talk back to me or I'll turn this baby around. Or I guess I'll turn it around anyways because that is the direction to our destination. Wow, well, all the towers in the distance. I just turned red. Well, busted. Okay, okay. It's so hard to be a good driver in a video game. It's a wonder that any of us who play video games stop at stoplights in real life. I mean, like, obviously we're conditioned to stop at stoplights. But in video games, I mean, my first instinct is to just always drive through a, a red light. I don't think, just like without a, th a thought, a second thought, I just drive through it. Why do, without a thought, we stop at a red light in real life, but not in a video game? And obviously, it's not the threat of danger. There's not really any danger to be had. Is uh, probably the big, big portion of it, but we just never once want to follow the rules, even if you. Like myself, in most games, play the nice guy, you play the Paragon, and all the Bioware games, I'm all, I always have a hard time picking mean decisions because I'm afraid of hurt, hurting virtual NPCs' feelings. <laughs> but I'm like, yeah, let's just go to the stoplight, you know, without a thought. Just who cares if I hit somebody and, you know, kill them and ruin their life? Ah, the relaxing sounds of binaural gunfire. Night City, uh, yeah, doesn't come without its perks. And its quirks. Someone just got beat up for your relaxation. Oops. I wasn't paying attention and I missed a turn. Let's do a big U-turn without considering anyone around us. Like, in like a not good scene, how many of you actually stop at each stoplight? To, to bet it's like nobody I even enjoy it more when I'm riding a motorcycle and I just breeze through I, I go right in between the cars that are stopped at a stoplight no second thought uh, all these cars here oh, okay green good kind of like how cyberpunk Wait, it wants me to go on this right side. So I'll just uh, make that huge adjustment. No problem. If someone was filming, they should have put me on the uh, idiots and cars subreddit. Oh wow, I'll look at that. Whoa. So beautiful. Exit. Oh, I can't pass this car because there's only one exit. Oh no, I can't actually pass these cars. Oh, this guy. Oh, well, they just crashed. That was really close. Oh, it's like right. It's like right below me. Yeah, let me just uh. 
middle here. I'm not blocking the road. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. Oh, my screen. What's going on? City go down here. Somewhere in this area. Oh, is it inside? No entry in this large trash pit. Oh wow, it's a Tuscan Raider. I don't know what is it? It is the Hierophant. Despite his, you know, his 
interesting as it could be. Let's take a sharp right turn. Oh, I just undercut that car and took a right turn, but I took a sharper. This is basically F1. I took the inside line, baby. Can't fight it. Same with you again. You aren't taking the most efficient route, everybody. Oh. Going into North Oak. Where there's actually vegetation. And wildlife. And living things on these long, windy roads. the city to our right. The lavish lifestyle to the left. It's almost as if all of these workers in these large the large uh, uh, mega towers can just overlook these houses and just daydream while they're doing their jobs. Wow. Maybe one day something like that. Maybe one day. What is that? Beautiful mountain sides. I'm surprised there's some more houses built on those mountains. Look at all this empty real estate. It's all owned by one eccentric billionaire, or hell, maybe by a 27, 77, a trillionaire. He bought all the land so his backyard view won't be spoiled. <laughs> that seems more likely. Is this a drive-in theater? Can we drive in? It seems abandoned. I'll just open up the door then. Uh, access granted. Would you look at that? I'll look at free money. Just take some of that. Is locked on. Well, what if I use this terminal? Oops. And just say, uh. Severance. We'll be shutting down at the end of the year. No severance package. Uh, well, how do we open up this little door? Uh, authorization. Uh, silver pixel. We're growing thanks to all our new customers. We're thrilled to be adding even more space for you and your cars. Now, how do I get authorization and uh, more, more money? How do we get an access code? Uh, maybe there is something in this terminal. Those are all scam. Let's see. Change of plans will be shutting down Silver Pixel Cloud 9 City at the end of the year. There will be no severance packages offered. As stated clearly in the contract, employees are not entitled to severance pay if they may transfer to another company location. We are happy to offer employees a choice between our Rockford or Loretto locations. The new positions will be on a short-term contract without benefits, as those locations are also slated to close within six months. The code to the main entrance has been changed to 0000. There we go, so that everyone can come and collect their personal effects. Uh, so, uh, they can transfer somewhere else, given the option to transfer. <laughs> so they can transfer just far away. Okay, let's use this code. How 
about zero, 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 and what was the last one? Oh yeah, zero. Nice. Wait. I guess that they just drove in. Okay. I've never been to a drive-in theater. I think it'd be fun to go one day. This COVID world, that seems like the only type of theater is still possible. I'm just doing some exploring. Oh, all the fun stuff in here. Okay, I'll explore later. I know, I know, we got things to do. Uh, but, but the air wax. Reinforced cotton headband. How can I pass that up? It's on this computer. It's over in Buck Street. Okay, showtime. It's Nightmare on Jig Jig Street. A song of ice and chrome. Uh, that sounds familiar. Speaking of Game of Thrones. The streets of Night City. Bushido X. Fade to black. That sounds like a Malcolm X thing. Silver Pixels classic rom-com extravaganza. Nice. Get the free money. Everything else, wait, that's this little, uh, we already read that. Don't need to know anything else. I guess this isn't just collecting tarot cards, it's just exploring. Because I bet the tarot cards are placed strategically to be in spots that, um, to, to help you explore the world. Because maybe, maybe I wouldn't have ever come out here. This gives me a chance to explore. Big old drive-in theater. That'd be a fun business to operate. What do we got? Combat zone. What is this? Lovers. Uh, that's two skeletons. Uh, let's just say kissing. The lovers is the card of dichotomies. It points to the contradictions that clash within each of us, and of the challenge of striking a balance between extremes. The lovers is also the card of dilemmas. Let the fool who stands at the crossroads, unable to make his choice. Everything conflicting. But it's almost, you know, as they say, opposites attract. You need the conflictions without a choice to make. Is it even a life, or are you just watching a movie? Dang, that's deep. Also played uh, Persona 5 earlier this year, so fool, magician, empress, emperor, chariot. These are all uh, coming back to me. <laughs> Night City Pixel. That's a cool name. Cool looking place. I guess a lot of land. A giant projector. Big old screen. Gotta get cards in and out. Sounds like a fun business to start. Alright, let's continue on. Uh, there was one that was pretty close, right? Yes. first. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. You're good. You're good. You're good. Like I just even look behind him. There's a steal. Alright, let's go. Okay. Continue on. Big old radio 
tower up on the hill. There's a tunnel. Accidentally swerved a little too hard. Was it like at the radio tower? It's almost what it looks like. Whoa, was that car in the ground? I've heard of flow riders, but this is ridiculous. What sort of forward was that? Oh my gosh. Uh, don't mind me. Oh no, oh no. Oh. Dear God. Seem like, uh, I mean, little tiny bugs like that, right? Like, uh, that one car was stuck in the ground, and uh, I think the car in front of it wasn't moving. So all I had to do was uh, look away and, and despawn. Let's see if it does again. Yeah, And it's gone. I'm a, I'm a magician. Uh, interesting, I haven't really come across that before. Some cars seem like they just freeze up need to be despawned for them to move forward. Very, very odd. But, you know, we are in the rich neighborhood. Maybe they just have cars that teleport. Uh, we do gotta hold up. Again. Okay, nope, they're just waiting patiently, as they should, at like a stop sign. Oh no, it's a light. Let's see you suckers. I clearly have a car meant for the social elite here in North Oak. Because it's not as bad as some of these. Just, uh... Alright, fine. I should probably wait. What the heck? That guy just straight up shooting some, some dude. Uh, well, I got things to do, so I'll talk to you later. Sorry, cops. You're on your own for that one. Uh, I thought we were pretty close this whole time, but North Oak is crazy. So many windy roads. It actually takes forever to reach your destination. <laughs> Dang rich people. speed. There's no one even in front of you. What are you doing? Okay. Okay, we seem to be getting close now. Stop honking. Okay. Was this like the Dennis Courts? Sleep, sleep, dreams, everything is at 
what it seems at first glance. Maybe your dream isn't what you think it is. Things are an illusion. Your desire might be twisted. It might be an illusion in of itself. Maybe there's something deeper down to glance for. Well, we found quite a few cards in that time frame. We still have, let's see, five, ten, eleven cards left. So, and there's still a lot more on the map. Maybe I'll make a little series out of this. That was pretty fun, just sort of having a small conversation around cyberpunk while exploring the various areas where these tarot cards are located. But I feel like uh, the CEO, house of a major corporation, there's gotta be a, a main story mission sometime later in the game at this place, right? I mean, that's like the whole thing, large corporations. You know we're probably going to be taking down the CEO at some point. That's just like a trope in cyberpunk or dystopian future games. <laughs> well, let's just uh, look on over Night City. Go over to this ledge. So beautiful. It looks so amazing. I really do like this game. I'd say it's worth it. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, my friends. As we find.